Well, it looks like uh, anybody that's anybody here right now, so <laughs> we will get started in this little celebration. So I'd like to welcome all the friends of the bear. Thank you for coming to celebrate this great day for the completion of the bear water feature and dedicating it to the citizens of Salmon and Limhigh County. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Ken Beller, Chairman of the Salmon Urban Renewal Agency. I'd like to introduce my uh, fellow agency members. We're minus one right now, but... And Corey Allen, and the empty seat is Jim Baker. Uh, together we are the uh, organization responsible for building Town Square Park behind you, uh, Town Square uh, parking lot, and uh, we did an environmental cleanup of the old former Beasley property behind us. And uh, with, by the end of the summer, hopefully, we'll also uh, construct a new restroom for uh, Town Square Park. And of course, the, the bare water feature. Uh, we're very fortunate to have a renowned right here in Salmon, Idaho. <laughs> His vision and artistry created this impressive sculpture that is truly one of a kind. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our own Robert Durlew. <laughs> Told you to be right off the bat. <laughs> With, so that's good. <laughs> uh, when I first conceived of a large sculpture for the city of Salmon, it was in 1998, uh, 16 years ago, and I thought, what should I do? You know, I thought about an elk. An elk is a magnificent animal, but you know, a lot of towns have an elk, and I thought, you know, Salmon, Idaho, ought to do salmon, but Salmon by themselves are somewhat mundane. I thought, what goes with a salmon? Well, a bear. And a few years before, in 90, 1992, the feds had reintroduced wolves into this area, and that caused quite a uproar. And in 98, when I was thinking about this, they were talking about reintroducing grizzly bears. And of course, that really caused a stir. But, um, you know, it just kind of had to be a bear with the salmon. And I ran this by Joan, and she said, you know, I wouldn't do that if I were you. They'll run you out of town. <laughs> and I, I, uh, she had a point. But uh, uh, so I went in to the mayor at that time with Stan Davis, and I told him about my idea about the salmon and the grizzly bear. And Stan jumped right on board. He just lit up, and I said, but you know, you know the deal about the bears? And Stan said, it's okay, we'll tell the feds we already have a bear. So, so a bear and salmon, it, it was. Um, and, and Stan said, I think we can get some, I'll see if we can get some money to get it started. And, I don't know whether it was Stan or the Arts Council went, went to the Forest Service, and the Forest Service gave us a grant for $25,000 to get it cast and get it going. And I, uh, I think Bob Russell uh, was very instrumental in getting the money from the Forest Service to get this going. And later we also got $8,000 from the Jim State community and Burl de Borg was uh, very instrument, instrumental in that. And then, um, you know, it sat there for a while, but we, we finally got it going. Uh, one other thing, Alan Howell from Ledor picked the bear up at the foundry in Tacoma, Washington, and brought it back, and I'd like to thank him for that. Um, but then the reason activity, um, of course, I'd like to thank Jim Bob and the people that put it all together, and especially the donors, but we'll get into more of that later. But a real hand goes to Ken Beller. I sat, I sat through some 
city council meetings with the former mayor and city councilman where Ken took a lot of verbal abuse. I mean, sir, if it would have been me, I would have said, adios. Uh, but Ken persisted, hung in there, and because of his actions, we have what we have today. And, um, you know, I, I think this just is an, is an example of what we can do in Salmon with a few champions and a few movers and shakers, a couple more things like this, and Salmon will go from a good town to a great town. And one thing I have in mind is, uh, you know, a along the Salmon River. Uh, I think that would be fantastic. And, you know, the taxpayers paid to build those levees, and um, it wouldn't cost much to just put a little gravel on it and, and use it. But that's, that's for another day. Just thank you for the recognition. I'm really proud of everybody working together to get what we have today. So thank you. Uh, thanks for the kind words. Uh, the citizens of this community are very, very lucky that uh, Ray's Heating, Plumbing, Electric was awarded the bid to construct this water feature. They came into the project with uh, great enthusiasm, knowledge, and lots of contacts that make the project proceed without delays. So at this time, I'd like to introduce Jim Bob Infanger, owner of Ray's and now water feature contractor extraordinaire. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't going to bid it. We were actually down in St. George's with my wife and a good friend of mine, Mike Sears, who does water features, says, who's uh, MD Nursery, they're the ones that erected the rocks for me. He says, we can do that. That's easy. You get the rocks. We'll come stack them. <laughs> well, it's not that easy to find rocks, the right rocks. Um, but we did. And... Uh, it, it has been a pleasure. You know, Bob is, uh, I guess it's, it's a pleasure because it really is a cool sculpture. And the way Bob managed the, the gold mine and the opportunity we had to work with him there, and, and uh, it, was just, it was a thrill to be able to work with it. And behind every great contractor is great help and great subcontractors. And uh, as soon as I got it, I just, I called Robert Stoddard and he said, if you break that bear it will be like breaking the golden calf of salmon idaho and i i'm serious i laid awake at night with nightmares of this of this bronze statue falling and breaking and i just i was sweating bullets because uh it is really a, a magnificent uh, sculpture so it was a good design it was it was fun to work with md nursery they took a lot of time at first the first day about drove me crazy it was about four hours per rock and it was hard for me to sit back I finally had to leave because they were driving me crazy and then all of a sudden it started kind of taking shape and they would made all the pieces of the puzzle fit and uh, I thought it turned out really really well it was interesting last fall I you know when you bid it you have this vision of time schedule and so we had Robert Stoddard down here to start the excavation what was it Robert the fifth or sixth scoop we hit something solid right over in that corner and it was like this isn't good this is all supposed to be cleaned up and we started digging all of a sudden here's a buried fuel tank nobody knew about from way 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 many years ago and days gone by and so we had to call time out and brought in specialists to make sure we got everything cleaned up but i just thought it turned out beautiful and it, it was such a thrill to work with ken and you know i've served on boards i served on the school board trying to uh, get us a, a bond levy pass where we could build a new school and it is tough it's tough in a depressed economy and a depressed area um, to get, th there isn't a lot of extra money to go around. But uh, I take my hat off to the Urban Renewal Board for hanging in there and, and meeting their, you know, having the vision and not quitting and uh, coming in under budget and, and putting together a, a beautiful project like this really was. And it is so, so great to work with Ken. I could call him six in the morning or 10 o'clock at night and I'd ask him questions I'd lay in bed wondering what to do and couldn't wait to call the next morning because there were you know little changes here and there and and uh Carrie Beeler was actually our inspector and he was 
it was great to work with. So I can honestly say it's probably the most enjoyable job I've done. I, I sweat more bullets because it is something that we haven't done a lot of, but there was no one around to do it. And I didn't feel like having somebody come in from out of town to do a project in salmon. Uh, so I wanted to try to make sure that we kept as much money local as we could, and it was just a thrill to work on it. And appreciate the opportunity to, to work with everybody and the good comments, and, and uh, I'm excited it'll be here for a lot of years to come, and thank you for all your help. Thanks, Jim Bob. You know, as a, as a side, side note, when we got done with this project, I mean, for, for weeks, for a month, I was here like every day, in and out, in and out. I'm just working down the way at McPherson's, and, and working with Jim Bob was a real pleasure. And when it was all over with, it was such a letdown. It was like I was going into withdrawal. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't go up and see what was going on because it was done. <laughs> but anyways, um, this interactive uh, water feature would have been could not have become a reality without the support of you folks, the friends of the bear. Not only did you donate money to the project, you showed the public how much community support there was for this, pro for this bear. And uh, this particular project needed that. We had a lot of naysayers, but you folks stepped forward, donated money, and said, yes, we want to water that bear. As chairman of the uh, Salmon Urban Renewal Agency, I could not have completed this project with the help of many, starting with my fam uh, fellow agency members. Uh, George Miley, right over here on the end, he's our uh, longest sitting member of the agency. About uh, six years ago, which Bob alluded to, uh, we went through some very traumatic times with a, a new mayor and uh, council that had an agenda to abolish our, our agency. Uh, there was a lot of strong words said and resulting in three of our members uh, resigning, leaving just George and I. So I got with George and I asked him, if, if you'll stick it out, I'll stick it out. And he says, yeah, I, I'll do that. He says, I want to see that bear done before I die. And so, well, the bear's done. George is still alive. So, <laughs> job well done, George. <laughs> uh, Jim Baker came on our board shortly after the resignations, giving us a total of three. Uh, he's a retired engineer, so his experience and knowledge was very helpful in uh, when we were doing our, our uh, parking lot project and the bear project, and uh, I appreciate all his knowledge and advice. Uh, our last member came on is Corey Allen, who's here tonight. Uh, she's been an avid supporter and worker for, for the agency, and she has a, a great vision for the future of salmon, which is what we need in this town. Uh, she's always been my go-to member for anything I needed done. Corey would say, yeah, I'll do it. Uh, I want to thank, uh, thank my wife, Jenny, for all her help and support through this entire process from uh, Facebook postings to fundraising for, for Friends of the Bear. She was always there and always there for me and the agency. She did a great job. Uh, I also want to thank Carrie Beeler, our project manager for the Bear Project. Carrie's sitting right next to George there. Carrie came to us with uh, many years of public works experience. And uh, his knowledge and advice was invaluable in the design, bidding, and uh, construction phase of the bear. Uh, I also want to thank uh, Nate Durchie of uh, Rock Solid Landscape. Nate's here today, came all the way up from Idaho Falls for this. It, Nate uh, designed this, this feature. And He also did the construction drawings, which Jim Bob uh, used to, to construct, Jim Bob and MD used to construct this, uh, this water feature. He, the, main, the main thing that Nate came up with, he came up with the interactive feature of this. Originally, when we took it to Nate, it involved a, uh, a pond around the, the water feature. And Nate started looking at it and measuring, he says, man, you're in room for that. <laughs> 
He says, how about an interactive? And I said, what do you mean by that? He said, well, we'll do away with the pond, and uh, it'll just, the water will come cascading down and go into the rocks and circulate back, back to the pump. And then, you know, he says, you can get right up there, you can stick your hand in the water, do whatever you want. And that, that advice was just, just amazing, because that, that, this is probably the most uh, prominent part of the feature is the fact that you can get right up close to it. If you had a pond out there, you'd be like, it's way over there and I'm here. <laughs> uh, let's see, where am I? <laughs> oh, and lastly, I'd, I'd also like to thank uh, uh, the Salmon Arts Council. Uh, when we first started this thing, came up with the idea with Friends of the Bear, uh, Tess Fieldhausen was the uh, director at the Arts Council, and we went to her to ask them if they would uh, supervise the, uh, the Friends of the Bear donations. And uh, she went to the board, and they jumped right on it, and uh, off we went for the fundraising. Uh, after she resigned, we, uh, Caroline, Caroline came on board, and uh, Caroline's just been great. She's, uh, she's a real workhorse for the bear. She's uh, administered the, the funds. Uh, we had lots of money coming in when she, was, she, when she came on board, and she got everything in order. And uh, as of today, uh, I'm happy to say that the Friends of the Bear Fund has generated over $23,000. Uh, just last week, we got the uh, Friends of the Bear donor wall done behind us. And uh, when you get done here and you have some time, be sure to go over there and take a look. It's, uh, it's uh, pretty impressive showing all the support that there was in this community for this project. And uh, there's a lot of names up there. <laughs> uh, I would now like to have uh, Mayor Leo Marshall come forward. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the present city council and mayor have been very cooperative partners, and uh, we really, really appreciate uh, uh, them getting behind the Urban Renewal Agency the way they have. And uh, on behalf, mayor, on mayor, on behalf of uh, the Salmon Urban Renewal Agency, and Friends of the Bear, Bob Durlew, and Jim Bob Infanger, it gives me great pleasure to dedicate this water feature and sculpture to the city of Salmon. We entrust it to you to protect and maintain for the pleasure of our citizens and visitors for perpetuity. <laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> Would you like to say a few words, Mayor? Okay. I've never seen one of these before because uh, I think Mary Benton's back there, the clerk, and uh, when I came on board uh, city council several years ago, this bear came on, and there were phone call after people stopping by, oh, that's terrible, terrible, that, that's awful that they would put a bear there. So the bear was put there. So last year, when they decided to take it so they could do the excavation, ask Mary back there, Call after call, where's the bear? Where, where is the bear? Well, we weren't sharp enough to say that it was hibernating, but uh, I, I think uh, our news reporter picked up on it, it's that the bear was hibernating, right? And then when it started going up, we've had comment after comment how great the bear is. So good job, everybody. Uh, I do have another 30 minutes on my talk here. Uh, I was in Rotary Club, and John Burns says, you need to stop the bear construction and go over and tell them we need a wishing well to put, add to that so that people could put the, put the money in there and just use it for something. And I said, well, the mayor's retirement fund would be good. <laughs> but every time I came over to stop, Jim Bobby wasn't there. It was, That's a lie. <laughs> ac actually... You had been there a lot, but it was just curtailing to the end, and I waited too long. So the wishing well is not there. Now, I've got to say something about Barb Dulu. A friend of mine said they were in the Denver, is it Denver? 
in, the, in an airport out there, Never Never Land. And they go to the gift shop, and what do they see? Sculptures from the Salmon Bob Durlu sculptor. So he's everywhere. He's everywhere. And I, as the mayor, I'd like to appoint him to the, be the chairman of the Levy Bike Path. <laughs> Committee. And I just want to say, Ken Beller, I mean, we need to set him a little kind of a statue up here for him because he's done a great job at his Urban Renewal Group. And uh, Jim Bob, great job. And thanks to all the former and present councilmen that got behind this. And of course, the staff back there, Mary and her group. Thanks. Good job. Thank you, Mayor. <laughs> well, this concludes our little ceremony, uh, but the fun has just started. Uh, we have uh, we have music over underneath the pavilion. We have some food and drink, and uh, we can all uh, get something and reflect upon how far we've gone this uh, this year in this community. I think it's a great start and a great addition to the community. So. Uh, one last thing, uh, if you're sitting in a chair, please pick it up and take it back to the where it came from. <laughs> so with that, I'd like to uh, uh, adjourn this little meeting and uh, we'll move forward. Thank you.